Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on new rack and this time we are going to show you how you can create a custom strumming variation. So let's start straight away. Let's click on the plus sign and let's click on plus on audio to create a new cha audio channel. Let's also create a second audio channel in a similar way. Let's click plus on the um, a audio unit effects for the first audio channel and scroll down to reveal the search bar click on the search bar and let's choose search for new rack effects and let's choose the MIDI option like so next on the second audio channel let's click on the plus sign and let's uh, scroll down again reveal the search bar click on the search text box and this time let's search for Chameleon, another fantastic product from Four Pockets. Right, let's make the connection. So we click on the hamburger menu on the left of Chameleon or the second audio channel. Let's click on New Rack FX MIDI to connect the two. So in this case, the New Rack MIDI FX will send MIDI messages to Chameleon and Chameleon will receive them because the connection has been established. Let's open Chameleon. Let's go to the presets and let's choose guitar and let's select the MT12 string. Now let's click on the keyboard here on the title uh, header or bar and let's test the preset uh, from Chameleon. Sounds good, it has also a nice release which works very well when uh, you create strumming in the MIDI strummer of Nurak. So let's close that and, unless, and let's also hide the um, AUM keyboard. Let's um, click on Nurak. Let's double click on the title bar to expand it. Next, let's uh, click here and um, in this pencil here and to go in edit mode. Now let's click on the plus sign to reveal the add module selection and let's select the category MIDI. Under the category MIDI, let's choose MIDI strummer. All right, so this is the MIDI strummer that uh, you should be uh, familiar with if you watched my previous video. Now let's enable the transport control from AUM. Let's click play. You don't hear anything yet, of course. Let's enable the ARP clicking on here. <laughs> Okay, that sounds good. Now, the ver ARP variation that is being played is the default one, which you can see here. Now, what we can do is customize one. First of all, let's click on this pencil button, which stands for edit. So this opens the ARP variation screen. So as you can see here, you see the uh, default variation. And this is a familiar screen if you use the other application for four pockets. And let me show you what it looks like when it is playing. Okay, as you can see, you can use it also when it is playing. Perfect. Now let's analyze the screen and see how we can create a custom variation. So you have three buttons at the bottom, one down closes the screen, one clear, which will clear the variation. And the first one is the pattern length. And you can choose how many steps you like. In this case, we have 16, as you can see here. So for example, we can choose 32. And then you can, uh, with your finger, uh, scroll um, if you go on the uh, on the, uh, the number of steps, you can scroll left and right. Let's clear again, and for demonstration purposes, let's create a simple one with eight steps. So as you can see, it is much smaller. Now, on the top, you have a number of steps, and when you click on each one of them, for that vertical steps, for all the strings in that vertical strap, you can choose to do a normal pluck, a down strum, or an upstrum. Okay, you can choose that for each of the steps. Horizontally, you have the strings of the guitar. So if you know how to play guitar, you know that these represent the strings of your guitar. Now you can choose clicking to say pluck the G chord on the first step, like so, or for example, the D string on uh, uh, the second step, and so on. If you double click, you remove the step like so. If you click and hold, you can move and create a longer um, step, so uh, effectively a longer note duration. 
and you see a number and a colors which is orange you can move up to increase the velocity up to 127 when it would be really red or down to four which would be very minimal as a velocity you hardly hear it okay so let's do a simple example something like this so it will go up from the first string to the top one and then it will come down like so and then it will repeat so let's try <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to the ARP variation edit screen. So let me show you how, for example, the strumming works. So let's say that on step number six, I want all the strings in, str in to strum all the strings. So let's remove these two steps, double click, and let's have all the strings enabled here. We click on number six for step number six, and we just say, do me a down strum. And you can see here uh, the uh, arrows are pointing down. If I select upstream, they're going to uh, point up. So as you can see, there is a lot of attention which has been put into the creation of these um, um, of the ARP edit screen. Let's click down and let's click play. <music> Okay, let's now do the same on step number eight, but this time let's do a um, upstream. Okay, perfect. Let's play now and choose different chords. Remember you can change the strum speed here with this dial, you can change the up speed with this dial, the overall velocity, you can change the E and also the octave. Let me show you also the effect of uh, accentuating a string being plucked. So for example, let's say that I want to accentuate um, the D string, sorry, the D um, yeah, string. So we click and move up to until it gets red so let's click down and let's listen so you can you should hear the when it plucks the string the, that the accent is higher Okay, so that's um, how you can create a custom ARP variation. I hope you enjoy it and you'll find this useful and enjoy with the fantastic MIDI strummer from Nurak FX, uh, brought to you by Four Pockets. Thank you, see you next time, bye.